Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install our Studio One MIDI controller for Stream Deck devices. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here. And in particular, we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins. And in the search box over the top right here, we're going to enter MIDI. And it filters the results for us. And you see it here. This is the one we want here, MIDI. And we're just going to click install. Say so, OK. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use Audio MIDI Setup, and you can find that in your Applications folder, Utilities folder. There it is, Audio MIDI Setup. And uh, you, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently there's no ports that are available here so we're going to leave this device name blank very important you have to leave that blank and we're going to click on the plus icon down here so clicking on that it gives us a new port we're going to click on this to rename it now the case sensitivity is very important on this so we're going to type in Mackie Dada capital M capital D We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackie. So capital D to capital M, Da to Mackie. Click the plus sign again. And we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename. And this will be Da Track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So Da Track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click apply. And we're done. We've added our ports. We can hide Audio Studio for now. And we're going to go launch uh, Studio One. Now I've just got a blank canvas here. So we're just going to go up to Preferences. And in the External Devices section, we're going to click on Add. And on the left hand pane here, we're going to go down to Mackie Control. So in this dialog box here, we have a, a receive from and a send to. And under the receive from, I'm going to select IEC driver Mackie to DAW. And the send to, I'm going to have IAC driver DAW to Mackie. Click OK. And we're going to add a second one here, add. And this is going to be new keyboard. And on the receive from IAC driver stream deck to DAW track and send to the DAW track to stream deck. And now we have our two devices set up. Now click OK and one more step in Studio One. We're going to open our console, press F3. So with your console visible here, we're going to go to the external devices over here. Click on Control, and Edit, and we're going to assign shortcuts to these functions here. And in the documentation, the PDF documentation that came with your download, it details what uh, you assign each one of these F1 to F8 keys. So you can right click on each one of the F1 keys to assign a command. And you've got this dialog box here, and you can, what we're going to do is we're going to search for the command we want. This one is going to be Add Audio Track Mono. Say OK. And we'll go through and we'll populate the rest of them with the F2 to F8 keys. 
And once again, they are in your documentation and we've got them listed right here on the screen. And the next step is to go to your download folder of uh, Studio One MIDI controller for Stream Deck. Now we need to copy a file from uh, this folder here, the MIDI graphics folder. And uh, so when we twirl it down, we can see we have Mac and Win. We're on uh, a Mac right now, so we'll twirl the, the Mac uh, folder down. And inside is this folder called Trivliga Spell. We have to drag this folder to our Documents folder. Yeah, so inside of this is all of the graphics that are required for our MIDI commands in our Stream Deck profile. So we'll click and drag this file to our Documents folder. And our Documents folder is uh, under uh, Macintosh, Users, Username, Documents. So we just drag this over to the Documents folder itself. I won't do that because I already have it here, so I'll just put that back. Now that's done, we're going to go back into Stream Deck here, and we're going to import uh, our profile. So click on the gear icon, go to Profiles, scroll to the bottom, and uh, we'll go to the Flyout menu, Import. Navigate to our download folder, the Studio One MIDI controller for Stream Deck folder. And under the Stream Deck Profiles folder in the Mac, you'll see there's two profiles here. One is for the XL device and one is for the regular 15 key device. So it depends, depending on which device you're, you're working with, that will be the profile that you need to import. And once you import that, you have the profile available to you. And uh, there'll be a link in the, in the description below that will detail all the functions of, uh, of this profile and how to use them. Now you may have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder, there was a two copy folder. Now what this is, is there are two more profiles in here and uh, they will give you the exact same profile as what you have in the regular ones, but it presents it under one folder. And the reason for that is you can click on this icon or this folder and you can copy it. So you right click copy and then you can go over to another profile. Let's say we hop over to our Studio One Pro Profile set and we find a blank button within our profile. Let's go under File here. There's a bunch of blank buttons here and click on this blank button and we can say Paste and that paste that entire profile into our Studio One Pro profile set now. So double clicking that will give us our MIDI controller profile inside of the Studio One Pro profile set. And you don't have to put it uh, in just this profile. You can put it in any profile you want. If you want to create your own profile and put it in there, that's fine. But that's just a way of you getting your MIDI controller grouped in with your Studio Pro profile set. So that's all there is to it. So check the video in the link below um, for how to use all the different features of the MIDI controller. And as always, you can go to our support page and if you're having any difficulty and uh, read up on any documentation we have there. Until then, thanks for watching. Have a good one.